Hi, I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and I'm going to tell you about household uses for chlorine. Chlorine is not the best option if you're going to clean. It's an ingredient that is in a lot of household cleaners, but they've measured it out. And even bleach, which doesn't have a whole lot of chlorine in it, is extremely toxic, extremely bad for you to breathe in. So I would never suggest trying to make your own cleaner or trying to clean with chlorine. It's an excellent disinfectant, and that's why they put it in so many different household, common household cleaners, but don't ever try to make your own concoction using a chemical like chlorine. I mean, it's dangerous. You don't even need to be that close to it. You'll be breathing it in. I guess a, a common household use of it would be if you have a swimming pool, you know, obviously you need to add chlorine tablets to that. But at home, just go with what you know and use cleaning products that have already measured it out. Bleach has chlorine in it, and that's why it's such an excellent disinfectant, like I said. Um, I don't really believe that you need to disinfect your house at all times. <clears throat> I believe you need to have good bacteria and bad bacteria, and when you disinfect with things like that, it kills all the bacteria, and there's not a balance in your home. So it's really a matter of opinion, but I would never suggest making your own cleaning product with chlorine. Um, and if you wanted to learn about some of the uses for chlorine, read on, on your containers of cleaner and see if they contain it. And then you'll know that that cleaner is a disinfectant. That's what chlorine is used for, is to disinfect. In your tap water, there's a tiny, tiny amount of chlorine, just so it's safe for drinking, but you're not a scientist, so you can't measure it out safely. I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and those are household uses for chlorine.